Greetings, Hebron family. Hey, it is always a pleasure to jump in with you on Taylor Talks and just go through a passage of God's Word and talk about some of the great things happening around here. So, hey, our volleyball girls, man, they've had a phenomenal season. As you may know, they won region. They got bumped in the Elite Eight, but man, they have been just doing a phenomenal job. Our cross-country teams, both teams have advanced and they'll be competing soon. We're super excited for that. Uh, we have a brand new girls football flag football team. And in their inaugural game, they came out with a victory. So we're excited about that as well. And then our fifth and sixth grade football players, they beat Prince Ave for the championship, doing phenomenal things. And then finally, we'll hear a little bit more today from Josh Sass about our choral program. And so they were competing and jumping in on a fantastic opportunity here in Gwinnett County to be able to present all of the gifts that they have with music. And so today's session is on the arts. And so uh, I'm always excited about creativity. Uh, I know that the person who's filming this right now is Blake, and he sent us some great pictures this last week of our campus at sunrise. And so we get to see just a little bit of God's majesty. And so really when we look at artistry, when we look at that idea of creativity and artistic ability, we recognize that it comes from God. When we look at creation around us, we see that he is the master artist. He is the one who is not just the master creator, but the creativity that we see in the way that God designed the world around us is such a testimony of that. And to know that we were designed in his, in his image, we have that privilege here at Hebron to be able to really understand that. So when we see in scripture, we see in the Old Testament, there's reference to the priest's garments, there's reference to the way that the temple was designed. We even have the very basic understanding of he is the potter and we are the clay. And we understand how God shapes us. So two cool sections of scripture in regard to this. Psalm 19, chapter one, it says, the heavens declare the glory of God and the skies above proclaim his handiwork. And so I love this idea that God's image is portrayed in everything around us. Everything that we see proclaims his glory. And then out of Exodus 35, verses 31 through 33, it says this, and he has filled him with the spirit of God, with wisdom, with understanding, with knowledge, and with all kinds of skills to make artistic designs for work in gold, silver, and bronze, to cut and set stones, to work in wood, and to engage in all kinds of artistic crafts. Now here's the cool part out of that section that I really like, is that notice where those skills came from. It says that God gave him those abilities. And so when we see the talent that is in our programs here at HCA, we understand and appreciate the fact that these young, very gifted students have been, have been enabled by God. So today, you're gonna to meet Josh Sass, one of our rock stars here on campus, and that does just an amazing job teaching the kids chorus and vocalization. And then you're also gonna meet Laura Rice, who is just an amazing teacher. Her classroom is one of my favorite places to go and camp out because it's so relaxing. She does a phenomenal job with art. So you're gonna to get to see both of those folks and experience a little bit of what your kids get to experience every day. So our students just participated in an event called District Honor Chorus, uh, where we had middle school and high school kids that uh, worked really hard preparing their music. Um, and they joined together with other students from our district in Gwinnett County um, who were selected by their course teachers to join together in uh, different choirs and they rehearsed under the direction of some phenomenal clinicians and put on a great concert on Saturday in the Classic Center. Uh, this year was really special because uh, due to COVID we haven't had honor course in the past two years so it was really exciting and I'm so proud of them for all their hard work um, just to see them performing together on stage. In my high school advanced art class, we talked about Vincent Van Gogh. He is one of the most famous and well-known painters um, in all of history. We learned about his life, we learned about his style. So they are using his uh, paintings as inspiration. They're using his style to kind of emulate using short brush strokes, bright colors, um, and they were allowed to take one of his paintings and sort of recreate it into their own idea. So they're having fun mixing colors, they're having fun making uh, short textured strokes like Van Gogh and really being creative with this project. Mr. Sass, we appreciate so much you just investing into our kids' lives, giving them an opportunity to also participate in such a cool event. And then also for Miss Rice, hey, jumping in on the Van Gogh uh, artistry and just understanding what that looks like. Near and dear to my heart, if you come into my office, you'll see Van Gogh the sewer 
uh, behind, our, behind the chairs in my office. Not the original, but you'll see a copy of the sewer. And uh, so I love Van Gogh and just the fact that he really meshes in this idea of faith and personal living. It's pretty interesting to see some of his subject matter. So, hey, what a blessing it is to watch our kids grow, find a place where they can belong. Let me close this out in a word of prayer. Father God, again, we just thank you, Father, for who you are. We thank you, Father, for being the master artist, for being the creator of all things. We thank you, Father, that your glory is proclaimed in your creation that surrounds us every day. Thank you, Father, for giving us an opportunity and the freedom to be able to learn about these things and to live out these things in our lives. Thank you, Father, for these teachers who are so creative and that they're investing into the lives of our kids. We ask these things in Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, HCA. Have a great week.